Okay, I have 102 on my clock, so why don't we get started? So, everyone, good afternoon, happy Thursday. This is Mark Young, and we're having our weekly podcast. I'm very fortunate today to have Fred Mannix, who will be discussing the role of alternative investments. I'll just say that's code word for hedge funds, and what Fred has been able to do to make alternative investments, i.e. hedge funds, accessible to, I'll just say, non-traditional investors is nothing short of extraordinary. It's very exciting what he's been able to do, what it can, can and should do for your portfolio is also extremely compelling and exciting. Great. Um, well, on this slide, um, we see on the left the 5% red number. And this will be your traditional retail investor. Uh, the retail investor will be, uh, you know, usually a do-it-yourself uh, professional, you know, educated, of course, but their ability and appetite to access alternative uh, strategies is not usually sufficient to provide that diversified portfolio. And on the right, you and there's a whole bunch of reasons wh uh, why for that. I mean, it takes quite a bit of time and energy to first select the right manager and then select the right strategy within that manager to complement and provide that diversification. Okay, so the three key takeaways from today, I think, um, you know, we've had a really good discussion here today. I thank everyone for joining. Hopefully we're able to show the efficient frontier and how incorporating alternative strategies can help you on a risk adjusted basis actually improve performance and reduce volatility. And the way to access these strategies has been coming more and, e more, and more easy over time. Uh, you know, 20 years ago, you needed to be an accredited investor. Today, you can access these through you know, closed-end funds, mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, and these are much more friendly, investor-friendly vehicles to access them.